What's going on, people? Glad to run it back. Drama International. Uh, glad you're here today. I'm excited for this podcast. This is going to be really good. Hopefully, you got something to write with, you know, because I want to hop right into it because I really believe uh, what I'm sharing here, what I'm going to share today, okay, is going to elevate you to your next level, okay? Everybody has a next level. All right, yours are different from mine, but everybody has a next level to get to or to attain. And I believe this is going to be key. What I'm going to share today is going to be keys to take you to your next level. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm excited. You know, it's summertime, it's June, a lot going on, people vacationing, you know, doing different things, family time, which is awesome. You know, I just want to take some time you know, in your busy schedule to do what we do at Drama International and provide content and give you some food for thought, give you some, some principles and some things to challenge you here and to equip you, okay, for where you're going. All right, so today is the Power of Network Part 2. Last week we started the Power of Network um, Part 1. I shared about some things. I shared a story. Um, I shared two needs that you need to understand when you're coming together and collaborating with other people, okay? The first one was the need for a clear vision. Um, and within that vision involves setting goals, okay, that you come to together. And number two was the need to identify roles and responsibilities, okay? Because that's important so everybody can know what they're doing, when they're doing it, and how it contributes to the greater good, okay? Um, you get in where you fit in. You know, we used to say that sometimes, you know, get in where you fit in. So wherever you identify the roles, okay? And because that's very important to establish in the beginning. It's important to establish in the beginning, the vision, the end goal, where we're going, and then also, okay, who's doing what? That was number two. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up today with number three, all right? The number three goal, and, there, and there's a lot of goals. I don't wanna sit here and say I, I mastered, I cornered the market when it comes to networking. I have not done that. A lot of this is based on my experience and knowledge. So let me just preface it with that. So number three goal is, drum roll please. All right. Number three is the need to sacrifice, all right? The need to sacrifice. This is important because when you're by yourself, okay, if you're doing it, if you're going about an adventure by yourself and you call the shots, then you, there's no need to sacrifice because you're fulfilling your own purpose and you're fulfilling your own um, role and responsibility and it's just you. But when you come together to network with other people or, or another or another party, okay, when you're coming to the table, okay, and roles are identified, responsibilities, the next step is everybody has to be willing to sacrifice for the greater good. And the purpose of networking is to collaborate in such a way, okay, that I don't have to carry the load by myself anymore. You know, I don't have to carry, I don't have to do everything. Let's say from A to Z needs to be done when it comes to, to a business, okay? Or a corporation, A to Z. If you're by yourself, okay, say you're a sole proprietor, you know, you're, you're incorporated, but you're just by yourself, you got to do A to Z. But when you collaborate with someone or a party or a group of people, now from A to Z, I might be responsible for A, B, and C. The next person on the team, I'll be responsible for DEF. So now I don't have to carry a load. So, but I have to be willing to sacrifice um, my, my personal agenda, okay? Sometimes people have personal agendas, okay? And you gotta sacrifice, sacrifice that at the door, okay? In order for the greater good to happen. All right, so case in point. I brought up, you know, playing for um, sports teams. And this is so key in terms of when you look at championship level teams, no matter what the sport is, team sports, 
whether it's football, basketball, baseball, you know, team sports, soccer. Um, when you look at championship level, okay, there's there's some teams, you know, who perform, but 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 they never really scratch the surface or they, or they, or they fail to reach their potential. And one of the reasons why sometimes when teams um, underachieve is because the parties or the players haven't embraced the idea of sacrificing for the greater good. That happens a lot. Not only in sports, but in corporate America. Not only in corporate America, but in everyday life. Sometimes we, 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 we fail to sacrifice what I want, okay, what I think to embrace someone else's ideas, you know? Sometimes we need to, we, sometime we need to uh, meet in the middle, okay? So, sacrifice is very important, all right? Number four, I'm gonna move to number four. All right, number four is, drum roll please. Number four, the need to be flexible slash adapt, okay? I wanna have those in there. The need to be flexible slash adapt, okay? There is such a need when it comes to networking, you know, and I've had opportunities to network not only in sports, but also in the business world, um, network with people. You gotta be flexible, okay? You know, because I found that a lot of times well, you may have an idea of how it should turn out, a lot of times they don't go that way. <laughs> That's the reality, you know? Just keep it, keep it 100, keep it for real, for real, you know? Sometimes things don't always go as planned. That's life. You know, I, you know I, I'm like that, I might have a certain way I think things are gonna happen, certain expectation, you know, I believe it's gonna happen a certain way. You know, and I've already went down the trail in my mind. Okay, so it's gonna happen like this, and it's gonna happen. We do this all the time. It's called expectations. So we have certain expectations based on our own perception or desires. Okay, so we have a certain idea, go this way. And so we have that, we have that in our thinking, sometimes in our subconscious. But you know what I found? Seven times out of 10, Maybe that's too high. Seven times out of 10, six, not six times out of 10, do you know it really doesn't happen that way? So there's a need to be flexible and not get bent out of shape when it doesn't go your way. So when you're working with other people, okay, you gotta be flexible and adapt to situations, circumstances, ideas, all that ideas. You may come with an idea and you, it may be an idea you've done in the past. It may be a way you've done things in the past and it's been successful, okay? But now you have to embrace someone else who's coming to the table who may have a better idea. Again, we're talking about the power of network. These are things that trip people up and cause them to, to not be able to effectively network with people because they fail to be flexible and adapt because they're so used to doing things their way for a certain amount of time, for years, whatever. It's hard for them to connect with someone else because I'm very confident in who I am. You know, you may, you're confident in who you are. Hopefully you are. You're confident in your track record. You're confident in where you've been. But when you connect and collaborate, there's another individual or individuals that have the same confidence. Okay, so there has to be a, a meeting in the middle sometimes. Sometimes they may roll with your ideas. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice and embrace their ideas. Okay, this is all a part of collaborating and you getting to your next level because your next level, your next level may be dependent upon you networking with a certain individual. Maybe you max out individually. Maybe you max out where you're at and you're wondering why you keep hitting the ceiling. Okay? 
it's probably because there's someone else you're supposed to connect with, okay, that's going to take you to your next level. That's going to bring your breakthrough. But you got to make sure you're willing to embrace them and be flexible in the process. Man, I hope this is good. I hope you guys are getting some out of this. I know I am. Um, I'm getting a lot of this myself. Um, so I'm going to close it up today with those things. I really hope you got a lot out of it. You know, leave some comments. You know, let me know what you think. You know, share this. You know, share this podcast with others. Um, and I'm going to continue this. We're going to continue this in the same vein because I believe we're in a season where this is important. All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out our, our YouTube channel. You know, you know, subscribe to our channel. Check out our website, germanintl.com. Promote what we're doing. And um, we'll see you next time. Always remember, you're destined for greatness.